Manga Manga in Curmudgeon's Corner. <laughs> to play some shuffleboard at Avars. Word has it that some of the viewer audience has misconstrued my opinions on manga and they're sore about it. Goseki Kojima, Gona Guy, Sanho Kim, and Osamo Tezuka are some of my favorite people. And manga for manga's sake is a beautiful thing. We are here today to deal with the issue of the fact that there has been a constant erosion of the North American comic book art form due to the invasion of the over-stylized manga drawing technique, which is nice, but it has become a problem because we're losing our identity. So there I am. I received the mail as an innocent citizen of Windsor, Ontario. And what happens? I get an advertisement for scholastic toys and activities. Look at this nonsense. Do art manga? Whatever happened to regular cartooning? We gotta draw a manga all of a sudden? Is this the future? So get this. Everyone's favorite friendly neighborhood web slingers published in Japan in a manga. Do you think they're drawing Ditko-esque in Japan? They're not drawing it, Ramita-esque. They're not concerned with Kirby-esque. They're not trying to emulate a Paro-esque. They're doing manga. So if a cartoonist growing up in Japan will never draw as if he were Sal Buscema, then why would we want to draw manga in North America? Appreciate it. Don't drink that old corn liquor. Bet your bottom dollars you drank that old candy.